What's up guys? So before I start this video, I just want to make sure everyone is aware that for the next two weeks until February 22nd, if you use a support a creator code, it supports that creator four times the normal amount. So if you're not using anyone else's code, feel free to use mine. It would help me out a ton. And as a bonus, you get the free Cuddle Hearts wrap for all your weapons in BR. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So right now, I've never actually done a video on Striker. I've shown him in two videos against Pathfinder, but I never really went over why he is the best farmer. And the answer is pretty, pretty simple. Let me go into his thing. Basically, it's good because of his, or is it his uh, Q, his anti-material charge. The cooldown is seven seconds, but if you actually hit a material, or is it, uh, it reduces the cooldown by three seconds. If you like are so basically if you are hitting any structure or plant or tree or whatever and not just hitting um like enemies the cooldown is four seconds so pretty much every four seconds you have this extremely uh useful tool which is anti-material charge to just be hitting everything like pretty much non-stop i'll get into showing that real quickly to see how Actually, how fast he actually farms, but just just take my word for it. And everyone else who plays this game, Striker is the best for farming materials. The only thing that Pathfinder is better at is having the Diamond Llama, which gives you some extra ore out of llamas and keen eyes to be able to see where treasure is and stuff. So, if you're on like a uh, quest to like find chests or find safes you definitely want to use pathfinder instead but if you're just trying to farm materials striker is the way to go so let's get into testing him all right so right now i'm in an industrial uh map so i'll see how long it takes to get 2000 metal and i will start at 19 minutes so it'll the end game timer will time me or by itself so I don't have to do anything else extra so let's go do you remember how you held me then now you got me reaching out Do you see you got me falling in more times than I can get out? time so that took about what five minutes no four minutes duh. to get 2,000 wood I'd say that's pretty fast considering it like a lot of the the trucks and stuff were pretty far dispersed 
So I'm actually kind of surprised it didn't take longer, but yeah, next we will do brick. All right, so I'm going to be doing the exact same thing, but with brick. So let's see how long it takes to get to 2000. I'll start at 17 minutes. time so that took I started at 17 it took about four minutes also the that was actually kind of slow not gonna lie I didn't find honestly that was that was just bad RNG I didn't find a lot of like big brick things like this to just easily kill so I had to run around a lot to be able to find them what I should have done was just stick in these, uh, like find a mine cave like this, but bigger, and then just farm these things. Because those are very efficient if you farm them with your, with your anti-material charge. But anyways, uh, let's get on to wood. Alright, so again, the same thing. I'm going to start at 17 minutes and get to 2k wood. And I'm just going to go out on a limb and say this is going to be a lot faster because there are trees literally everywhere. So let's go. And time. So that took two minutes. Okay, almost twice as fast as the other, or farming the other materials, which makes sense because look how many freaking trees are around here. <laughs> it's it's there's it's a lot easier to find these big uh, these big trees to farm than it is to find these because there's just so much more of them. However, at the end of the day, Striker farms fast AF. Okay, like. <laughs> There's, that's the, that's the conclusion at the end of the day. He, so based on what I just did today, on average, 500 uh, brick and metal per minute and 1,000 wood per minute, which 
any of those values, that's extremely fast. So if you don't already have him, make sure you recruit him for the collection book to make him your farming hero. For materials, that is. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you learned something. And if you didn't, that means you already knew all this information anyways. A lot of people knew Shriker is the best, but I just, I never did a video on it, so I thought I would do one just to make sure literally everyone knows. So, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. It has been a year.